I'm Jeremy Dreyer for the Electric Power Research Institute. As soon as a major storm strikes a utility service area, the clock is running on restoring that service. News crews are circling, customers are calling, and everybody wants to know how quickly power will be restored. The first and most essential step in restoring service to customers is assessing the damage. We recently talked with Matt Lierczyk. He's program manager for a new and very interesting research program that EPRI is undertaking with some of its member utilities to assess the use of unmanned aerial vehicles or drones to assess and restore damage to distribution systems and to transmission lines. We spoke with Matt and he gave us an outline of research that will be taking place over the next couple of years and for the first time, utilities may be able to complement boots on the ground with wings in the air. For electric distribution companies, one of the biggest challenges that we faced in recent years with the storm troubles that we've had is, is uh, damage assessment and then applying resources to do the repairs and recovery. Um, in the smaller storms, utility systems do a really good job of this. We have systems in place today that would be referred to as outage management systems which will quickly tell us where the outages are and we can dispatch repair crews. Those systems work very well. Utilities are pretty satisfied with that technology and applying that. But as you can imagine, when a storm hits that has such a magnitude that there's vast damage over a wide area, it can overwhelm some of those information technology systems. So uh, in cases like that, we'll rely on boots on the ground, actually go out, look at the damage, assess it, and then call in uh, to a storm center or an instant command area uh, to tell them more about the damage. At EPRI, what we've decided to do is use unmanned aerial systems, sometimes called drones, uh, deploy those drones over an area that's been damaged and quickly send back high resolution video to storm damage managers at utilities so that they can prioritize immediately the damage and send repair crews directly to where the most damaged areas are. We've uh, initiated a new project what we've referred to as the Airborne Damage Assessment or ADAM project. The purpose of ADAM is to evaluate the use of unmanned vehicle systems for storm damage assessment on the utility system. The project's made up of two phases. In the first phase we'll evaluate uh, the use of unmanned vehicles and payloads. Phase two is about the information technology solution where we'll tie the asset register, the outage management system, and the GIS systems together with the streaming video for the incident commander. So our approach is to partner with uh, New Mexico State University, uh, who is a leader in the use of unmanned vehicles. They have a flight range down in the New Mexico desert um, that is one of the only licensed FAA's places in the world to fly unmanned vehicles. What we need to do is look at what payload is really needed. The camera equipment, the resolution of the video, there could be other types of sensing and sensing technologies that we may want to incorporate. From those specifications, determine what's the right vehicle to fly for our application. And that could be a vehicle as small as the palm of your hand or as large as a fixed wing vehicle that would be manned. The second and most important part of the project is actually to fly the missions. We'll come away with answers on what's the right altitude, what's the right flight angle, what's the right resolution, what's the right speed. We will fly missions over eight portions of the United States to gain answers to these type questions and determine what's the right vehicle, what's the right payload for each of the regions of the country. Part of the project will be also to evaluate and come up with a technology solution which involves the information technologies that are in the core of the utilities, the outage management systems, the GIS systems, the asset register, and tie those together with a prioritization approach to give utility incident commanders precise information on what part of their system is damaged and where should I send restoration recovery crews. Longer term at the information technology uh, integration opportunities. That will take a little bit more time, but there again, the, uh, the opportunity when, when the information technologies are leveraged is huge. With this use of a, a drone type system, we'll know exactly where to deploy those crews as they're on their way. So we believe there'll be a huge benefit in terms of restoration um, and recovery and getting people back in service is what this is really all about. So um, again, use of drones brings the streaming video right to the incident commanders real time. They can do an assessment, they can prioritize it, we can surgically send repair and recovery crews to the right place much faster.